What's going on guys? Lexi's Fitness Corner here, back with another video. And as you can see, I bought a bunch of fitness stuff. And for this video, I'm going to unbox all these things and rate them, use them, and tell you what exercise equipment you can get for a good price. So all of this together was like $60. That's not too bad. I got like several different things as you can see. So right now I'm going to tell you everything I got. I really don't like the shirt I'm wearing right now. It's not very good. So let's just change that real quick. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, so let's talk about what I bought here. So for the first thing, I already opened this. I tried to get a good thumbnail, but I couldn't get the box to close. So I just held it for the thumbnail, but the first thing I got, jump rope, it's weighted, so this should be good. The only concern I have is that it is 9 feet, as you can see right there. 9 feet long, so... Yep, this is definitely going to... <laughs> this is definitely going to need to be adjusted. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm really short, so I'll attempt to use that but I doubt I'll be able to. All right, so that's the first thing I got, the weighted jump rope. The second thing is this fitness twister. I have absolutely no idea what this is or why I bought it. I only bought it because it was $5 and I'm like, okay, why not? This will be cool. So this was $5, not exactly sure what it's for. It looks like you stand on it and pull something up. It says, Workout targets the abdominal and arm area, so your stomach and your arms. Okay, well, we'll try it out. It's only five bucks. I forgot to say the price for the jump rope. The jump rope was like $15, so it better be good. It better be adjustable, because I ain't using no nine-foot long jumping rope. Okay, so the next thing I got is push-up bars. And the reason I got these is because... If you guys know, I have a wrist problem. A lot of you all probably don't know that. If I push down on something, my right wrist is like really messed up for some reason. I don't know what happened to it. Just one day it started hurting every time I pushed down. So that keeps me from being able to do push-ups. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll be able to do push-ups again if I have push-up bars. So I already unboxed these. I put them together. And they work good. I have used them once, but I'm going to use them again for the video for you guys. And yeah, this was also $5, so it's really good. You can get some good fitness stuff for a good price. See? $5. Yep. So that leaves us down to one more thing. And this one more thing is also the most expensive thing I bought yesterday. Oh my gosh, a 10 pound medicine ball. Now these are really, really good because, well, it's a heavy ball pretty much, that's it. You can do so many workouts with these things, like I'll have to show you guys, but let's just unbox this bad boy. All right, so it's 10 pounds, so I'm gonna have to get this out the easy way. Instead of trying to pick this up, I'm just going to roll it right out. Oh my gosh, this is harder than I thought. Get out! Ah! Hello? Ah! My table is about to break, so I'm going to take that off the table. So, um, this is the medicine ball. It is 10 pounds. Woo! And I can use this for a lot of different workouts, so... Let's get in to using the workout equipment. So I am now here in my living room. This thing is heavy, but I can still hold it with one hand because I'm a boss. I'm now here in my living room so I have more space. The first thing I'm going to be using is the medicine ball. This thing was $35, so it better be good. All right, here we go. So one of the easiest um, workouts you can do with a medicine ball is a Russian twist. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's pretty much where you get on the floor, you put your feet like that, and you do this. You keep your feet off the ground, and you twist your body 
with the medicine ball in your hand and do this. That workout really targets your core. That is a great way to get a six pack. So I'm not really sure if you guys could see me very well in that workout, the camera angle was up too high. So I'm going to redo that. I'm gonna leave that clip in, but I'm still gonna redo this. So this is how you do a Russian twist. This is great for your core and great to build abs. All right. I'm gonna see how long I can do this for before I quit. Ooh, feel the burn. Oh! All right, I'm sure I can do it for longer, but I know that I have other fitness equipment in there that I need to use. So let's put the medicine ball up and get to the next workout equipment. All right, guys, up next, we have, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> All right, guys, up next, we have the jumping rope. It's weighted. I think there's one pound in here in each little um, bang, but this is nine feet long, guys. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this. So before I use this, um, as a child, I never really had... A jumping rope so this is gonna be my first time using a jumping rope in my house I know I like I've, I've used a jump rope before like at school at elementary school like on the playground I would but I never owned one this is my first jump rope I've ever owned so this is going to be funny so let me adjust the camera angle and let's use this weighted jump rope all right let's use this jump rope Oh my gosh, this cord is so long. I knew I wouldn't be able to use this. When my dad gets home from work, he's going to have to adjust this for me. But right off the bat, I can tell this is a good jumping rope. It's definitely weighted. You can feel the weight. So it's good for your arms when you swing it. And of course, it's good when you jump. So uh, let's keep trying to use this. I doubt I'll be able to get two jumps in a row with how long this cord is. But we'll try. So, it's not the fact that I'm literally terrible at using a jump rope. It's because the cord is so long, but I'm going to keep trying because we are not quitters here. We keep trying till we succeed, even if... Okay, can we just pause the video real quick and take a look at how cute my dog is? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's just laying in the sun like a good boy. Such a good boy laying in the sun. I'm like actually already sweating right now. I drank a lot of water this morning, so maybe that's why, but like, jeez. So we have two more things to look at. Now I'm going to do the push-up bars. I've already used these, so I know they're good. Hello. Hi, Rocky. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's like, leave me alone. So I'm just gonna sit these down on the floor over here, put you guys on the tripod and see how good these things are, even though I've already used them. I'll show you guys. Okay, I don't know how good this camera angle is, but we're gonna try it. So, I'm gonna sit these down on the floor like this, get into a good push-up position, and let me show you how good these things are. Look at that, I can do a perfect push-up because of these things. And if I try to do a push-up like this, oh my gosh, my right wrist is so messed up. So, I'm glad that I can finally do push-ups again, because yesterday I figured out these things existed. I literally didn't even know these were a thing, but I'm glad I found out about them because I can do push-ups again. Woohoo! Alright, 10 out of 10 for the $5 push-up bars. I can also, I want to try to do a plank with these. You know what a plank is, guys? This, like, tightens your abs. I'm going to do that with these things. See if it, like, gives me a better workout. Alright, yep, it's definitely working, but, whew. These things are a definite 10 out of 10. On to the next workout. Okay, last but definitely not least, the fitness twister. So, I have not unboxed this thing yet. I do not know what it looks like except from the picture here. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at what this thing is. 
So, I'm really going to guess that it's just something you stand on by the picture and pull up with your arms. I mean, let's see if it's good or not. I mean, how bad could it be? It was five bucks, so that actually means it could be pretty bad. Okay, well, for the money, it, it shouldn't be too terrible. If it's not great, I won't feel bad because I didn't lose much money. Okay, so that's it. We just, okay, so interesting. I have never seen something like this. If you guys have ever used one of these, like, please let me know and explain to me what it is and what it's for. It says waist twisting disc. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly what the girl in the picture is doing. There's no instructions. I don't know how to use this thing. I guess I'm just going to sit it on the floor and, oh my gosh, this thing is so weird. So... Just gonna stand on this. Oh my gosh, it's weird. What is this thing for? Woo! I can move! Wee! Wee! <coughs> my dad's home from work. Well, guess I gotta end this video soon. My dad is opening the garage door, so my dog is barking his head off, but I don't know what this thing is really for. I'm gonna ask my dad if he can adjust my jump rope, but. That's going to be the end of this video, guys. I don't really know what this thing is. But thanks for watching. Um, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.